Hi everyone, it's Rock for Cash. Welcome to the week four review. Um, before we get into uh, what happened over the last few days or this round, just thanks again to the musical director, Team Mazza, for uh, giving us our song for the week. Um, this one's the Teriyaki Boys, Tokyo Drift from the Fast and Furious movie franchise. So. Maz's favourite uh, Fast and Furious movie, so obviously means a lot to him. He says there's a few other coaches in the league that uh, will appreciate this song. Stay tuned, we've got an absolute beauty um, for Thursday night for the uh, preview of round five, but uh, I won't spoil that by telling you what it is just yet. But anyway, round five, wow, what a round. Jeez, we had some bloody high scores. We had... Um, few upsets um, yeah it was a really really good round of uh, FNFL so with that said we'll get straight into the uh, the results um, first game saw uh, rock for cash 102.52 getting over the top of uh, Mitch's mongrel 76.16 uh, let's put the cash uh, still at second spot he can't get onto the top there uh, I'll get back to the top where he was in round one. Uh, so he's sitting on second. Um, and Mitch's Mungrel's um, down on the bottom after this uh, after this round. So not too great there, Min. Um, in this round, pretty much... Uh, who do we have? Oh, Kareem Hunt tore it up today with 23 and a half. Uh, Calvin Ridley, 17 and a half. How good's this kid? This could possibly be the Kareem Hunt of uh, 2018. Picked up off the waiver by the cash. 17 and a half. The kid's played three games, got six touchdowns. You know, he very, very excited about this fella. We'll see what happens with him. Um, other than that, Aaron Rodgers got 13. Um... For Mitch's mongrels, the Mahomes train, geez, wasn't he good today? Kansas City Chiefs, 4-0. and oh. I mean, seriously, if you're a Chiefs fan, you'd be excited as the cash is. You know, he scored 21.86. Uh, I think it's George Kittle, Georgie Kittle, 18.5. That was about it. No one else got into double figures there. Um... Yeah, so better luck next time, Min. No, I think I'm leading you now 5-4 in uh, the Commissioner's Cup. Uh, in the second game, um, geez, it wasn't, it, there was nothing in this. This this was a blowout, absolute blowout in the end. Little Waiters, 129.58, moving up to third spot on the ladder against the Kelpies, 91.6. They are now dropped down to sixth spot. Oh, I mean, the little waiters led beautifully. Jared Cook, 23. Hopkins, 22.9. Giovanni, the pizza man, Bernard, 21.6. Justin Tucker, who she loves this kid. 15 points as a kicker. 129 there. Kelpie side, Philip Rivers, 20. Um, David Johnson, finally into some form, 15. Eckler, from the Chargers, never heard of him. 11.6. And my boy Kelchi from the Chiefs, 13.8. But um, yeah, look, a little waiters there. A few, few other coaches starting to look at the little waiters here. Just sort of, uh, they're sitting now on three and one. Um, third on the ladder, like I said. Kelpie's a two and two, sixth on the ladder. Kelpie's will bounce back, they always do. Um, Little waiters though, she's opening a few eyes of a few coaches. So well done, Danielle. Um, in the next game, the Brothers Cup, Shiva Kamini with a win. They're in two and two, they're up to eighth. Um, and Team Mazza, 71.78. They're on two and two as well, they're in seventh spot. This game came down today, Demarius Thomas. He basically was needing just over eight and got 2.4, so 
Team Mazzas, he's a hard taskmaster. I don't know that he's going to like that too much from Demarius Thomas, so I'm tipping that uh, possibly Demarius might be demoted. Uh, I think Deshaun Jackson probably need to come into the side. Aaron Jones probably needs to come into the side as well. He's got LaShawn McCoy. He's playing like a dog's breakfast at the moment. 3.7. Yeah, look, Maz has got a bit of work to do on his team. It just doesn't... The balance isn't right. He, he's making a few schoolboy errors um, that, you know, it's we're not accustomed to seeing from Team Mazza. Um, so expect Team Mazza to bounce back. But good win, Nickety. Really, really good win. Um, so well done on that one. He picked up um, Cody Parkey off the... Um, the uh, waivers last week got 15 the Bears got 16 um, Geordie Nelson 12 and good old Tommy Tom Brady 19 on Team Mazza Melvin Gordon his franchise as he calls him 23.9 and Brown over from the Ravens 17.9 and Willie Lutz 15 from uh, New Orleans but um, yeah heartbreak for Maz today Adulation for Shiva. Uh, Shiva needed this win, so well done, Nickety. Uh, the next game, oh boy, what a game this was. Cash hasn't checked the stats yet, but um, this could be the easily the um, highest scoring game of all time. I'll, he'll get back to you on that one, but um, Smooth Criminal, 158.38 against Archie's All-Stars, 122 and a half. And Jordan's now two and two. She's moved up to fifth spot. And Father Cull, who labelled Jordan a lesbian last week on his uh, interview, he's on one and three, dropped down to 11. So 11th spot. Some would say that might be karma for uh, trying to um, get into the smooth criminal's head, but um, she bounced back beautifully. Um, as Archie's All-Stars today said, wasted 122 game, still got beaten by 36. So I know he's bleeding, bleeding down there at um, Doggy Land Stadium. Um, in this game, there the, were just high scores everywhere, really. I mean, Alvin Kamara, 36 points. Cohen, 24 points. James White, 23 points. Kirk Cousins, 28 points. Fuller, 11 points. The list just goes on and on. I mean, for Archie's All-Stars, he wasn't um, without some high scorers as well. Jared Goff got 38. The Golden Tate Bridge, 25.2. Thielen, 19. Bryant, the kicker from the Falcons, got 13. Zach Ertz, 11. So look, this was just a tremendous game. I've, I've heard reports from people that went and saw this and it was just a slugfest. They loved it from from when they started watching it on Friday all the way through to Tuesday afternoon. This, they, you know, they, they're saying this could be the game of the year, uh, up to date. It, it just was an absolute slugfest. Um, and yeah, thoroughly enjoyed by all the fans. So well played to both these teams. They really gave the their fans their money's worth. Um, the only other thing in this game, you know, Father Cull be a bit disappointed. He did pick up the Taco Bell this week with 77 and a half points on his bench. 77 and a half points. I don't know. There's going to be a few altar boys uh, feeling a little bit uneasy, let's just say, this week. Uh, in the next game, oh, yes, the two boys that think, live and breathe the FNFL. Cav and Moneymakers. You know, Cav wins this one 93 to 83. Uh, Cav's now up to 3 and 1 and 4th on the ladder. Uh, Michael, geez, he'd be disappointed. 1 and 3 and down to 10th. Like I said, a 10 point win to Cav, but it probably was closer than that in the end. Um... Came down today, it was Emmanuel Sanders against uh, Lindsay from Denver. Sanders got six, Lindsay got 17, game over. So, you know, it was probably closer than 
what the score actually suggests. Dalton got 21 for Michael. Um, Barkley, 16. A couple of uh, 12s from Diggs and Bailey. Um, on the Young Remix Killers side, Matty Ryan got 26. Lindsay, 17, as I said. Antonio Brown, 12. Good to see him getting a touchdown eventually this year. And T.Y. Hilton, 11 and a half. So, yeah, look, probably, like I said, this game should have been a bit closer. Michael, I think, will actually feel pretty dejected that he actually lost this one because I, I, I had a feeling through, through this particular game that Michael pretty much had this under control. Uh, and let this one slip. So I think this is going to be a game that, when it comes down to finals, he's going to probably think that he's let this one slip and he probably uh, should have got over the line. But, you know, should have, could have, would have. He didn't. Cav, 10-point winner. Well done, Cav. Um, I'll be in touch with you to uh, see if I can't get you on to uh, Cash TV and interview very shortly too, champ. Um, The last game of the round... um, the Browns, 119.7. They're on three and one on top of the ladder. Everything's just sailing along beautifully for the Browns at the moment. Uh, Little River Giants, 86. They're one and three, uh, down to ninth on the ladder. Um, you know, the arrogance of the Browns. He said he wasn't going to play a quarterback. That's how confident he was that he's going to beat uh, Sean's Little River Giants, and pretty much that's how it panned out. So yeah, Cam Newton, put him in his side, had a bye, very arrogant. Cash loves it, but it's very arrogant. Uh, Zeke, 30. Cup from uh, LA, 28.6. Hyde, 14. AJ Green, 13. Crosby, Stills and Nash from Green Bay, 14. Uh, Little River Giants side, Todd Gurley keeps just racking it up, 21.6. Cooks, 18.6. Roethlisberger, 13.8. That's about it, though, in this uh, this game. Just a, just the, the juggernaut that is the Browns just keeps powering along um, in this league. Uh, so, yeah, so he's sitting on top of the ladder, so you can hang as much shit as you like on the Brown, but he's sitting on top of the ladder, so basically I'll say it for you, Brownie. Get stuffed the rest of you. All right, so that pretty much wraps up round four, or week four. Um, looking forward to round week five. Um, game of the round easily is uh, Rock for Cash versus Little Waiters, both three and one. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because I'll do that on Thursday, but yeah, easily the game of the round. Um, Young Remix Killers take on Archie's All-Stars. The Browns take on Team Mazza. Uh, This might... uh, There's some sort of little bit of a... I don't know what it is. There's words between these two at the moment. Um, Team Mazza not uh, not too impressed about uh, Brown's comments about him being a little crumb. Uh, Fired back something about uh, my toaster. Uh, Both of them hung shit on me about my toaster. And, um, yeah, there's going to be a bit of spice in this game. Um, so looking forward to watching this one, the Browns and Team Mazza. Um, the other games, the Kelpies, who we, you know, they don't want us to talk about them. Uh, just want them to fly under the radar. Uh, they're up against Little River Giants. Uh, and Smooth Criminal, uh, after her 158, is up against Mitch's Mongrels. And uh, Shiva Kamini... Um, is hosting Moneymaker 7 at Shiva Stadium. So that's pretty much um, what's coming up as well. Um, Just a little bit more news. I don't know if you've uh, been on the FNFL Facebook page yet, but it's been announced. There's been trade number two um, has just occurred. I've posted it on there. It's been approved by Mickety and Team Maz, our trade commissioners. Pretty much, it just shows you how simple trading can actually be. Uh, there was a trade between the cash and Shiva Kamini, uh, talking to him on the phone. 
he started grumbling about uh, Rob Gronkowski. I said to him, I'll trade you Rob Gronkowski. What do you need? Running back? Yeah, I could do with another running back. Do you want Jay Ajayi? Yeah, he sounds good. Send it through. There you go. It's been accepted. Send it back. Send it through to Mickety and Maz. They've approved it. Trade done. Seriously, it's as simple as that, trading. It doesn't have to be, oh, yours is better than mine. All that bullshit that goes on, you know, from some of these coaches, you know, some of the reasons I've heard about why people aren't trading is just mind boggling. I mean, the best one I've heard so far is the Kelpie. The Kelpie wouldn't trade with me because basically the player I was offering him I picked up off the waiver and I was asking for a player that he drafted. So he felt that uh, unless I was going to commit with a player that I drafted for a player that he drafted, um, there was no trade that was actually uh, going to happen. But I uh, just wanted to remind uh, Dave this week about the actual trade that we looked at doing. Um, let me just have a look at here. Calvin Ridley I was offering for... He ended up getting, if I can just get it on here, 17.5. And it was a trade for Tyler Lockett, who got 9.2. So, I don't know. Like I said in the last video or the video before, if your team's going well, why do you need to trade? But... Kelpie, your team's not doing too well. And if you have a look at Ridley's numbers, he's hot hand at the moment. But that trade's well and truly gone now, champ. There's no way known that he's leaving my team now after 17, 33 and 17. He'll be staying there. But anyway, each to their own. The cash is only giving his opinion. I wait to hear from other people's opinions. Anyway. All right, guys. That's pretty much it. This has probably been a bit uh, longer than normal. Sorry about that, but um, yeah, just wanted to mention a few, few other things um, that uh, that's been going on as well, other than just uh, reviewing around uh, week four. All right, guys, have a great uh, couple of days. Cash will be back on Thursday with a review of week five. That's cash out.